homemade chicken plucker take, I don't know, 122. Right guys, um, as we can see here, this is an old wash machine drum. With the wash machine universal motor attached. Steel plate round to protect the motor. And switch gear. And my power cord, what have you. Under here is a safety switch. It was all very <laughs> hodgepodge, shall we say. Um, I've connected, installed the fingers on the back of the, what was the drum, cut the sides off the drum obviously, um, and the fingers are fitted. I've still to bring fingers through, and then we should be good to go. But, proof of concept really. So, here I have a thruster, 25 amp thruster. Not ideal, but controlling a, a universal motor and the likes of a wash machine is quite difficult. So I have her set, preset, roughly she draws about 1.3, 1.4 amps at the speed I'm about to go, so um, at 240 volts, nominal in the UK. So we're up around the, I think it's 1.3 actually, 1.3, 1.4, so we'll be up around 300 watts, maybe uh, just over. I can do. I'm going to do a final video on I built this up on a stand then I can find exactly what she's using but this arrangement I will change later it's just parts I have flying around uh, to save me order than anything so this switch is a safety mechanism and I've got to push this down so this it's just a bit of plastic I've put on there just now and switch it on And as you see, she powers up. Now this gives me only one hand. So somewhat safety. Obviously you don't want to put your hands in here when she's moving. Although, she isn't that torquey. At the speed I could probably slow the drum. <laughs> yeah, we've got to bear in mind when we have our bird in here. The heavier the bird, the more friction and the more weight, the more it'll slow it. So I'm having it spin around here as I hold that switch in place. And this is where you can hear it. I can increase the speed to compensate for the weight and friction. Yeah, we could wash the duct literally. But well, she's working a treat. Excuse my finger there. One moment, it's under too low. So bring that back up, and in effect, if I take my hand off this piece of plastic, she cuts it. So, here's a proof of concept anyway. It does work, like I say, I put a, a speed controller on it, not one I've cobbled together. Uh, I should also add, I've added a 22 microfarad run capacitor, which will be fine for probably 9 amps, 2000 watts. But the bigger capacitor we put on here, the better. Well, within reason. Um, there's overkill and there's uh, just protection. Um, and we're not stressing any components, so that's a big part with the cap. She's not going to get stressed out at all. Um, maximum, without any weight in it, she's drawing 2.5 amps, which is what, 4, 480 watts? Oh, sorry. 2 amps is 480 watts, um, so 120 on to that again, Six, yeah, 600 watts, so over 3 quarter horse, but that's without any load on it. Um, it'll be, it's going to be testing time, I've got to mount this up onto legs and things like that, and obviously a very good clean for the fingers, it's just a trial. The main thing is if I run a washing machine motor from the speed controller um, and we can get her to pluck poultry, or in our case, uh, waterfowl. Although, there may be chickens at some point, we'll see. Hi right, guys, thank you for your time. Bye.